Sorry about this. What? Sorry about what? About that. On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots, I christen you a citizen of Villador. Fuck. You're about to turn. Get into the light fast. Run. Hey, am I? I'm running through here. Am I gonna alert the volatile dude? What's up, everybody? Great Flood here, and welcome back to Dying Light 2, Part 2. Um, I uh, played this game last night. My buddy, Fellmaster Z, was playing this also, along with another buddy of ours, Cooley. Uh, we were playing literally the same game, uh, trying to figure out if they had like a co-op or so. We couldn't really figure that out, but this is actually uh, just furthering into the story or so. But you guys, for some reason, can't hear them, uh, which is kind of crazy to me, but... Uh, like I said, this is just part two, just going through the story some more. So I hope this turned out pretty good. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, if you do, please give this uh, a thumbs up. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments below. And stay strong and stay excellent. And I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm at the main entrance. I marked a safe route for you. I'm waiting by the lobby. Hey! You are to go for quite a few of these for drug research. When you don't get fucked, they grab the research volunteers. They pay them <laughs> lots of money. What was the result? A lot of shit. Dude, I loved um, uh, Dead Island uh, with the. You could like punch yeah, zombies. Now you can't even do that in, in the Dying Stay Light games, it seems. It doesn't. You know how to open locks? I wish they would have came sure. out with the, Turn the key. Dead Island too, man. What if man? you don't have a key? I can't. I've traveled thousands of kilometers. You think doors are a problem for me? Out uh, of the, uh, the riptides. Okay, yeah, just checking. I think this room should have all the instruments you need, maestro. I found some scrap. You can make lock picks out of that. Yeah. Ah, good work. No other choice. Was forced to know my stuff. Uh, fuck. Call some help. There you go. That won't work. Shh, let's go. This way. Dark zone in front of us. <laughs> yeah. What are you 
doing? Mia, not on the wall. Stop talking and give me your hand. Aiden. Everything okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Talk to me. This hospital. I've been in one like this before. A GRE facility. Well, there are a few of them around the city. I'm having these... these memories. The person I'm looking for is Mia. She's my sister. There was a guy here named Waltz. I don't know. It's all mixed up in my head. Uh, you suppressed the memory. Like I did of my third wife. Uh, look, I'm sure the infection ain't helping. Chin up. We'll find the marker and clear out. Let's go. Mm. Yeah, thanks. Oh, you see a bunch of sneaking zombies too? Or sleeping zombies? You probably know that already. I do, yeah. Oh, same here. Sweet. Oh, dude, this is. <laughs> yeah, it's giving me some Last of Us vibes. Can you loot this? Oh, hi. Oh my god. Dude, that zombie looked right. Okay, I'm just gonna skip that loot because that didn't look important. I'm just gonna. Oh, stop. Stop. You don't see me. You have a bag over your head. Son, no, don't stop it. Stop it. Are you serious? Oh, I hate you. Oh, you alerted the whole facility, and I was right there, too, man. Oh, man, I gotta just totally go through this place like I'm in Blade 2. Oh, that. You ever watch Blade 2? <laughs> Going through the sewers and then the whole hive is alerted. I got like 20 to 30 zombies on me. Oh my gosh! I wish. I wish I would have. Oh my gosh, dude. I almost killed all of them, too. Like, what? What's the point of even sneaking? You just kill them all. Hmm. 
Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oof. I'm on like the verge of death right now. Okay, all right. Another room full of sleeping zombies. Just don't, just don't wake them up. Just don't wake them up. Dude, you're, you're sleeping. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. This is a dream. This is a dream you're having. Go back to sleep. All right. Can survive that fall. Are you crazy, Hacken? Come on. Dude, the last time I jumped from a height. Okay. That's just plot armor, okay? That's why I survived. Would you jump slowly? Jude, I would like run. Zach. Hurry. We're running out of time. I can't make it. Wait. I've got an idea. Remember the cocktail I served you earlier at the girls' workshop? Neighbors. Exactly. You fell to the first floor. There's some GRE storage down there. Look for white, green crates. Inhibitors should be inside. If you take another dose, you should get your strength back. Jesus. We got company. Come on, little. Ain't no way I'm sneaking by this dude. I know. I've seen this fucker. He, he sees me. What? Oh, come on, son. Oh. Look at that. Whole body got goosebumps <laughs> after that. Try to go around it somehow. Walk from the inside.
does this dude not see me? Hacking dudes get telling me things I already know. <laughs> that volatile dog dude finds you, man. You're dead, man. You're screwed. I just took some steroids, y'all. Oh my gosh. My, my dude is like running so fast. Like Speedy Gonzalez, man. What? Hello? Hello? Okay. Hack on. But good to go. Yeah, that's great. Sorry about this. What? Sorry about what? <laughs> about that. On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots, I christen you a citizen of Villador. <laughs> You're about to turn. Get into the night fast. Hey, am I- I'm running through here? Am I gonna alert the volatile dude? Ah! Oh my god! Yeah, dude! I'm running, this volatile jumped out of nowhere! Oh, dude, get off me, man. You're looking like you're from Outlast. Oh, 
Whew. God, dude, that Malatar did not have to do that! Yes, get back in there, acting like you're going to do something. That was close. Well, what would you do without me, Pilgrim? Huh? I never wanted to become a Pilgrim. I just sort of fell into it. Roamed the country for another reason entirely. I'm looking for my sister. And then what? And then? What will you do once you find your sister? I'll find some place for us to live. You know, some place quiet. Gotta settle down somewhere now that I'm infected. Where will you go? Any place is better than this city. <laughs> well, that's a pretty low bar. I'll find a place where people aren't afraid of pilgrims. Aren't afraid of me. It'd be nice not to have to run and hide for a while. I always wanted to catch fish. <laughs> fish are good. Oh, man. Oh man, well, I'm still I in jump mode after that plan. volatile dude. You look like someone with a specific plan. Holy crap! I'd like to live by the ocean. You know, it's supposed to be easier there. I always wanted to learn how to surf. What, you find a bunch of old postcards or something? Ah, don't laugh at my dreams, man. Oh. I know one thing. I have to get out of this city. It's killing me. Right from the inside. Will you help me? The God. ocean's a long way from here. I'll help infected. you live to the ocean. People don't want pilgrims for their neighbors. Fuck people. I will help you with them. And you can help me survive on the road. You know the routes. You know how to survive out in the open. What do you think? We cover each other's asses. How does that sound? Okay, let's do it. Awesome. Deal. You won't regret to say that. I promise. As for your goal, here's the situation around here. After the PK commander was murdered, they blocked the route to the center. They're trying to keep the killer from escaping. To get to Fisheye, we have to outsmart them. But I know when they change the night guard. That will mm. be our chance. I'm gonna get the stuff we'll need for the passage. I have to suss out our odds. Meantime, take a look around. Live a little. Oh, uh, live a little. Come on. Let me show you something. As long as I don't run back into another GRE spot or hospital or whatever that was. With those volatiles and sleeping zombies, dude, I'm good. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. Hey, what's a Craftmaster? You're not from around here, right? Craftmasters are people who invent new technology, design innovations. All sorts of gadgets that might help in combat. Alberto's the grand master around here. Like I said, I'm his apprentice. People laugh at him, that he's slow, not very eloquent. But he's a real friggin' genius. What's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already invented underwater reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash, but he kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. All my ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. 
So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then I hit it. Our goats. They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, <laughs> energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. So, what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case, you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. Yeah, I'll see what I can do, but I, I can't promise anything. I would be very grateful. Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, Pilgrim, we can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julie, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? I wouldn't call it proof, but he was just trying to rope me into some shady deal. All I need to know. You're done, Julian. Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! Bless you. I wonder what the hell is going on with the central loop since PK's restricted access. Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. You sure? How do you store it? I buy bottles. There's no way it could become contaminated. Not a chance. My supplier, Marco, always has clean water. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe... Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. Looking at all the dead people. It says here they're missing. Same difference. They never find them anyway. Now yeah, then why the board? It's been 15 years. Many people disappeared back then. My neighbor lost his two kids. But... Life goes on. 
Except, I wonder if it works on like bigger zombies. With one shot. But it's hopeless. Since there are no night runners, the search always ends the same. Have you heard of kids who were in the GRE tests? Huh. And who wasn't in the tests? The young, mm. the old, the blind, the deaf. Everyone came to find a vaccine. Oh, can you? Some for cash. Oh, Others that's why. That's why it's one shot. Not get infected. But that was the devil's bargain of Villador. Walled in with the plague. But given the chance to be the ones who gave the cure to the world. Well, the virus won. The study was eventually discontinued. And the children? Officially, no one tested on children. Human rights and other crap. And unofficially? And unofficially. Apparently, some of the kids were taken out of the city. The rest? Well, they just scattered around the city, abandoned. If the infected didn't get them, then hunger or darkness did. When did all this happen? A long time ago. Looking at you, you were still a kid yourself. Once upon a time, I came across two of them. Two girls. They were five or six years old. And it looked like they hadn't eaten for a month. What were their names? I don't remember. I threw them some old bread and took off because they were shaking as if they were about to turn. Red eyes. Swollen veins. I don't know what they were giving them there. Those psychos from the GRE. Those night runners. Tell me about them. What's there to say? Nearly all of them are dead. When they were around, they were the only ones not afraid to go out at night. They rescued those who didn't hmm. manage to get to a shelter. But of the entire group, only a few survived, including Frank, their former commander. Once upon a time, he oh, was yeah? right. Now, he drinks himself into a stupor at his place in the central loop. Hard to say how much longer he'll be around. Nice. Where are all these kids at now? After all those years, most of them are probably dead. If someone got luckier and is still wandering around, they would probably be in the central loop. More peacekeepers there. Easier to survive. Someone must know more. Why? The past is the past, and there's no point in dredging it back up. Everyone has their own problems. Here and now, Pilgrim. Everyone fights for themselves. Goodness. Show me what you got. I've got you now, motherfucker. I've seen Walker. <laughs> You're supposed to be a runner, right? You're mine now. This is nothing. You're all Goodness, there's a whole army of these things in here, man. Oh, why? Parts 
for Carlos and his groundbreaking fence. Ah! Hope he's still waiting at the bazaar. <laughs> Goodness. set up my show my installations right outside the main entrance turn it on please I'll go get Alberto wait till he sees it no it's grilled the goat is grilled I'm such an idiot what happened I must have overcalculated the voltage see he's useless I'm sorry I don't know how I could get it so wrong I told you it would be a waste of time. Why? I don't think so. This is very, very... It has big, huge... You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes. It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon. It could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to science. There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... Uh, and pronounce you a... Uh, a... Uh, a... a... Uh, Craftmaster? Really? Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. If it's not strong enough, come around to my craft master workshop. Sure, thanks. Just uh watch yourself out there, okay? No worries, friend. Oh.
Adrian! I did it! I did it! <laughs>